ready to go with his heavyweight bout. Frank Shane, the ring announcer, making the introductions as we look at the tail of the tape. Marty Monroe, 27 years of age, weighed in at 195. And Greg Page at 226. That's a couple of pounds lighter than his fight against Stan Ward. And as this young man at age 22 continues to mature physically, uh, you can see that his uh, body structure changing a little bit slightly. And it's been interesting uh, in discussing this with, with you, Angelo, uh, as you've kind of watched how, how Greg Page... Uh, upper body seems to be tightening up as he gets a little older, a little more mature. Well, the older he gets, the more mature he's going to get. That's going to be working naturally. He's a little better shape. He's about two and a half pounds lighter than last time. But uh, I'm a little concerned about the guy because he just don't look like he's physically matured yet, and he's fighting a real mature man in Marty Monroe. They're getting their instructions from the referee today, uh, appointed by the New York State Athletic Commission, Joe Cortez. The judges are Eva Sheen from Fort Lee, New Jersey, and Bernie Friedkin from New York City. Scoring is on the round system in New York with a supplemental point system in the event of a draw situation. Mandatory eight count in effect. Three knockdowns in a round will end the fight. Count continues after the bell in the event of a knockdown, except in the tenth round. A couple of other rules here in New York that we'll tell you about, which uh, they introduced uh, within the last year in the interest of safety in the ring. And we'll pass those along as we get the opportunity. Greg Page in red, currently ranked number four by the WBC, uh, by the WBA, pardon me, number seven by the WBC. Marty Monroe in white, ranked number four by the World Boxing Council, number nine by the WBA. Marty Monroe wearing that green trim, he told us before, uh, as a, a tribute to the children who have been murdered in Atlanta, and also uh, as he hopes to just pass along his interest to the families of those children in Atlanta, Georgia. Tim, every, Greg Page has also dedicated his fight to those families. Tim, every time I watch Greg uh, Page, I get hot for you. He, he throws that left jab, but he drops his uh, right hand down. He's really vulnerable for a left hook counter, but he gets right, away right, with right, it, I guess, right, with right, the youth right, and the right, quick right, reflexes. Right, right. But you can watch him drop that right hand every time he jabs. Well, what he's trying to do, Gil, I don't like. He's trying to pressure this guy. He's going to walk into something. He should be boxing and doing his own thing. That's why I like Monroe in the fight. Well, I just think Cage is just too big and too strong for Ange. Wow, right there he looked like he was. A solid left uppercut. Knocked Monroe into the ropes, and he appeared staggered, but he's battling back. We're still in the first round. A tremendous left hand from Greg Page. Monroe is at his dangerous when he's getting nailed like that, but he comes back with shots. He's in trouble right now. I like the way Page is going from body to head. He dug a couple of good left hooks underneath. Marty Monroe has lost only once. It was by decision to Scott Ledoux. He had one draw on his record. 14 knockouts in his 22 victories. Page is surprisingly cool. He has him hurt. He's not going head hunting. He's really mixing up his punches real well. We have less than a minute to go in this first round, and Monroe, in some trouble early, appears to be clear-eyed and has himself back into it here in this first round, but Page has been in command from the opening bell. Here's that left hook underneath. Beautiful way he's changing up. 22-year-old Greg Page from Louisville, Kentucky, unbeaten in 14 fights, 13 knockouts. Everyone agrees he had a pretty easy route through his first few professional fights. His best win against Stan Ward his last time out. Under 30 seconds to go in the first round, and he landed a heavy left hook to the body and backed up Monroe. Those body punches have been beautiful, very effective. Big weight advantage, which Gill has alluded to. Page at 226, Monroe at 195. Final seconds of the first round. Number two, scheduled for 10. From Kayamisha Lake, New York. Greg Page on the right in red. Marty Monroe on the left in white. All right, get the hand up the next. First round for Greg Page, who's trained by his uncle, Dennis Page. Bill Slayton, veteran and well-respected trainer, handles Marty Monroe. That was a great first round for Page, but he's got to be very careful not to get careless because this guy's definitely going to nail him, and uh, it could happen in this round. Angelo Dundee with Bill Clancy and Tim Ryan. We are live at ringside on CBS Sports Saturday. Masters coverage coming up later this afternoon. Round number three from Augusta. Well, Monroe just took his big shot and missed. 
Look at those body shots. Good counter-punching inside by Marty Monroe, his best flurry so far. I'm worried about Page in between those punches when he falls in, Gil. That's the only thing I'm concerned about with Page. From a distance, he's better off. He's better off boxing outside. But if he falls in on this guy, he's going to get nailed. Page exuding the confidence which has become familiar to fight fans right from the start of his pro career. Indeed, back to his amateur career, which was an outstanding one. Former national golden gloves and AAU champion. In a fight like this, uh, Page, he has to make sure he doesn't get discouraged because he hit, he's hit Monroe with some of his best shots and nothing's happened. That can discourage a fighter. A warning from referee Cortez to Page for holding behind the head and Cortez nearly caught a right hand from Monroe as he separated him. Now Page on the attack again, backs Monroe to the ropes. Monroe has taken some fierce punishment. Doesn't seem to be, hasn't wobbled, he's right in there. And the referee just got hit. Didn't stagger either. Well, he slipped the punch real good. He, the referee was a former fighter, Gil. Yes, he was. New York Golden Glove champion. Under a minute to go. Round number two. Monroe slips those punches real good, Gil. I mean, those shots he's getting nailed from the outside. That's where his danger part is. Amazing from the outside, Page can hit him almost at will. Monroe scored with the left hand as Page backed up. Under 30 seconds to go, round two. Well, we know Monroe can punch. 14 knockouts and 22 wins. The only man to stop Eddie Lopez. That was his last fight back in September, a fifth round knockout of Eddie Animal Lopez of Inglewood. Short uppercut from Page landed. Final seconds, round two. Three. Full house in the Imperial Ballroom of the Concord Hotel. About 2,200 fans in attendance. Luminaries like WBA light heavyweight champion Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Former light heavyweight champion of the world Archie Moore is here. Tennis player Tracy Austin. A number of other people from the current fight ranks. This is an important heavyweight bout with the win of Michael Dokes over Tex Cobb recently, positioning Dokes up there with the top ones. The winner of this one's going to be right there with him. Jerry Cooney is here, the number one heavyweight in the world, both WBC and WBA. Page on the attack early in round three. It's amazing how accurate Page is from the outside. He hardly misses a punch. If I was Page, I'd stay right there. Because if he fall, when he falls in with Monroe, that's when he's most dangerous. Because this guy automatically comes back with counter punches. You know, Gil, Page don't turn with his punches. That's the reason. Reminder stations along the line at the end of this round will have a 30 second station break. Monroe has, a slight, Monroe has a slight cut under his left eye. Right, Gil. Good right hand from Page. It's amazing. Every time he throws a punch from outside, he lands it. And I like the way he came back with that left hook underneath. Well, there's that uh, bounce that you described, Angelo. He, he sure has an awful lot of movement. Kept it up for seven rounds against Stan Ward, too. See, Greg Page will learn how to go with his punches and turn with his punches and put full power behind him. He don't pivot. He's an arm puncher right now. This will come with experience. Under a minute to go. Third round. Scheduled 10 rounder. You know what an arm puncher is, don't you, Gil? I think so, Ange. <clears throat> Let me see if I can guess. That's the guy that just puts his arm in the punch, huh? Right. <laughs> Punches are having an effect, I tell you that. On those faces, it's starting to look like a road map. Under 30 seconds to go, round three. Page with 13 knockouts and 14 bouts, but again, he has not been fighting top quality fighters, with the exception of Stan Ward. This is his important test today. And he's got Monroe wobbled again. Here is Page on the attack. 
attack again. As We're back awaiting round four. Let's see some action from the third round. And Greg Page really nailed him with some real good shots. That's a Sunday shot right there, but Monroe has a knack of sliding shots. Thank God for Monroe. Monroe getting attention in his corner. Uh, some swelling now on that welt under his left eye. Trainer Bill Slayton working on it, and we are in action in round number four. Tim Bryan, Angelo Dundee, and Gil Clancy live on CBS Sports Saturday. We have a split pair of pants on Greg Page. I guess he's bouncing around did that. Well, unless he got hit there and we missed it. <laughs> he has indeed lost the seat of his pants. Could prove interesting as the fight progresses. Now, if I was working here, girl, I'd say, change those pants. Give my man Monroe a little more time to rest up. And if I was working in the other corner, I'd say, no, that's okay. We're not worried about it now. <laughs> in, a, in a minute, we'll be able to change him as soon as the fight's over. <laughs> round, round number four. Yes, we're talking about Page being an arm puncher. If he if he had a, a devastating power in his punches, he'd be absolutely awesome. Nobody would be able to touch him. Well, Gil, talking about that, heavyweights like Greg Page are going to become super heavyweight division. I foresee that in the future because you got a guy with 31 pounds bigger than Monroe fighting that ring right now. I think we'll definitely have a super heavyweight division. And there are a lot of those big guys around. By the way, we'd like to again alert our stations along the line. We'll be going once more to a 30-second station break at the end of this fourth round. All right, come on, come back, come back, come on, come on. Right now, Page is in complete command. He's, he's, he's having fun in there now. Don't do anything he wants to do, any punch he wants to throw. It's a great feeling. The, the fun will change with one good shot on a, on a chop, Skip. It can always happen in a heavyweight fight, but I don't think it's going to happen today, Ange. He's doing anything he wants to do. You know, Gil, with a puncher, they're dangerous all the time. Great Page in red, Monroe in white. Monroe keeps coming forward, but Page still getting the better of it. Under a minute to go, fourth round. Page said yesterday he likes heavyweight fighting more than amateur because he can pace himself through a 10-round fight and through a three-minute round, whereas he said all those three-round, two-minute uh, round amateur fights, he said he had to go out and let it all hang out early. He likes to relax a little in the early round, but he's been busy here. Well, the other thing, difference between amateurs and pros, and, and, and the pros, if you have a good manager, he picks your opponent, and the amateurs, you have to fight whoever they tell you to fight. Could be a southpaw, a guy with a bad style. Professional fighting, in my opinion, is easier than amateur boxing. Well, that's interesting because he, he said much the same thing. He said, I fought all those top international fighters. He said they were professional as far as I was concerned and some of the best in the world. And he didn't get to pick any of them. He had to fight them. Monroe with a brief flurry and Page just backs away and gets a little breathing room as we come to the end of this fourth round. And now pause for this word from your local station. We're back here as we look into Marty Monroe's corner. Bill Slayton working on him, that same abrasion under his left eye. And here's action from round four, Gil. Well, watch these little punches that Page is throwing inside. Short little punches, and they really can bust the guy up and really do a job on him. He's so accurate with his hands. Monroe's in there winging, trying, but right now it's all Page. 22-year-old Greg Page. An outstanding amateur career, now unbeaten in 14 professional fights. Ranked number four in the world by the WBA. Leon Spinks and Jerry Cooney headed for title opportunities. If Cooney gets by Ken Norton, coming up on May 11th here in New York, a big interest heavyweight fight. Leon Spinks scheduled to meet Lee, uh, scheduled to meet uh, Holmes if Holmes gets by Trevor Burbick tonight, defending his title against the Jamaican and now lives in Canada. So the heavyweight picture coming into focus, and the winner here today certainly right in the thick of it. Page is really having a good time. He's just doing what he wants to do. I can just he's talking to himself. Okay, now I'll hit him with a left hook on the body. Now I'll hit him with a right hand on the chin. Anything he wants to do, he's able to do in there right now. That has to be a great feeling. 
little bit of blood on the inside right-hand corner of Page's mouth. Doesn't look to be anything serious, but there's a little trickle of blood in there. Yeah, that's been there for a couple of rounds, Timmy. Uh, he probably needs a better mouthpiece. That's very, very important. Probably the most important piece of equipment a fighter has a, is a good-fitting mouthpiece. Near the end of the round, I don't like the way Page laid back on the ropes. And Gill in the corner is getting both arms on both strands of the ropes. It might be a little fatigue shown on this kid. Uh, if it stays this way and he has his way, be great. But a couple of good punches can change the whole complex of this fight. Any heavyweight fighter, one good punch can change everything. But as I say, Angie's just doing what he wants now. I don't know how much Marty's going to have left to land that big punch. A couple of good combinations scored by Page. Very relaxed in there. And, you know, when you relax, Tim, you really don't get hurt too much. Uh, a lot of big punches get, they all, most of them can't take a punch because they're so tight. That's why they're big punches. This kid's relaxed, and when you relax like that, you really have that little rubber band effect, and you, and you can take a punch better. Under a minute to go. We're in the fifth round of the scheduled 10 rounder. Gary Cooney at ringside must be looking uh, very closely at these two men, and certainly Greg Page in particular, the way it's going. Future opponent for Cooney. Under 30 seconds. Oh, solid right hand by Page. My nose hurt again. Yeah. Can he take a rap, though? Boy, can he ever. He's taking a bunch. He looks wobbled, but he just hangs in. Referee has to start looking at this fella's condition. He could be hurting there now. Page, I think, sensing fight between the fourth and fifth round. Marty Monroe unable to come out for the fifth round. It appeared, we were trying to confirm, it appeared that Monroe's people and Monroe himself made that decision. The doctor from the state of New York is in checking him out right now, but the referee, it did not appear, had stopped the fight. Evidently, the decision was made in Monroe's corner. He looks very weary at this uh, point, and it is another knockout victory for Greg Page, who's now unbeaten in 15 fights. As we look into Marty Monroe's corner, he looks uh, to be very disconsolate, very tired, and certainly a very beaten fighter. We're going to go back to action from round number four, unbeaten Greg Page, Certainly has vaulted himself to the very top of the heavyweight ranks. Jerry Cooney still standing number one, of course. There's a tremendous right hand in that last round, Gail and Angelo, that uh, was the one that seemed to really set Monroe back near the end of the fourth round. Well, he took some tremendous beating at the end of that round. Tim and I had mentioned that the referee should take a look at his condition because when a fight is taking a beating like this, there's no sense in letting a fight continue. He almost had no way to win it. Look at those punches. Well, we want to remind you that coming up on CBS Sports Saturday, a special feature, the incredible month of Danny Ainge. Also highlights from the recent WBA Bantamweight Championship between American champion Jeff Chandler and Japanese Hiro Murata that took place in Tokyo just a few days ago. So that's all coming up. And while we have this knockout victory for Greg,